guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video will be a review of the Kylie Matte Liquid Lipsticks and Lip Liners, famously known as the Kylie Lip Kits. So if you want to know my thoughts about these products, please keep on watching. Cosmetics has been out for quite some time now and of course it is owned by the celebrity Kylie Jenner and I don't know why I had to say that because everybody knows it that it's Kylie Jenner's but for the sake of my intro there you go but seriously speaking guys her product lineup is already expanding first she released her matte liquid lipsticks which this review is all about and then now she already has her glosses and metal liquid lipsticks as well currently there are nine matte liquid lipsticks in her collection but I only got five and these are Mary Jo K, Tochi K, Posey K, 22 and Coco K. For now guys, let's focus on the 5 lip kits that I have in here. Each box contains a matte liquid lipstick and their corresponding lip liner in the same shade. This baby retails for $29 in the US but mine I got for a different price. So I purchased these lip kits from two online resellers and of course they do charge differently. Here in the Philippines, I can see them resell this starting at 2,000 pesos from the $29 US price tag and I think that's still pretty decent. I saw others sell it for mga 10,000 pesos. Anyway, so much for being hyped. Let's proceed with the review. So basically, this is how the cardboard packaging looks like. At the front, it says Kylie Matte Liquid Lipstick and Lip Liner. And then on the side, you're going to get the shade color. On top naman, you're going to get the shade color and then shade name. At the back, it says Kylie XOXO. Kylie Steeps, Line Lips with Lip Liner and Fill Lips In with Liquid Lip Color. All of the ingredients of the matte liquid lipstick and lip liners are indicated as well as the expiration which is 12 months after opening. The shade that I'm wearing on right now is Mary Jo K and as I open the packaging, this is how it looks like. There. I don't see any leaflet or whatsoever, just the liquid lipstick and this um, lip liner. So I'm just going to read, but it says that both the matte liquid lipstick and the lip liner is made in the USA and they both have the same shelf life, which is 12 months after opening. Matte liquid lipstick contains 3.25 ml and then the lip liner contains 1 gram. Taking a closer look at the packaging of the matte liquid lipstick, it may look as if that it's glass but it's not. I think it's just plastic. It just says Kylie matte liquid lipstick and the shade name is at the bottom of the tube. And then it comes in a doe foot wand applicator. Now I don't know how to describe this scent but for me this is sweet, almost like um, vanilla. Another thing that I also noticed is that even if it's newly bought, as you can see, the wand is already messy. I think the rubber stopper right here that removes excess product as you get the wand out of the tube, it's just not tight for the product to be left inside the tube. But it's just that guys, I don't have any problem with the packaging. The lip liner, it's just your regular lip liner. It's not retractable or anything and it looks like this, nothing too special. I tried smelling and smelling this earlier but to no avail, I can't smell anything from it. So just a straightforward review guys. So mga ayaw manood na mahahabang reviews, I don't know why everybody is clamoring to get their hands on their lip kits. I have had these lip kits for about a month now and all I can say is that they're good but they're really nothing special. 
But I think one of the reasons is because they're really just so hyped up that they got this cult status. But other than that, they're just your regular matte lipstick. If you want me to dig deeper into the quality, first off, pigmentation. So these are all one swipe goodness. I had no problems with any shades. Like, I ko silang iulit ulit on the lips just to get the desired intensity that I want. No, just one swipe. This lip liner is really pigmented and you don't need to really tug on it for the color to show. For pigmentation, that's one star for me. Now, consistency-wise, I think this is how the Kylie Matte Liquid Lipsticks differ from the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lips. Kylie Matte Liquid Lipsticks has a slightly thinner consistency without sacrificing the pigmentation. The thing that I really liked about this lip liner is the consistency. It's very creamy, so no tugging. Consistency, one star. Third, we have ease of application. I didn't encounter any problems when applying this lip with lipstick and the lip liner both did really well in application but again nothing that the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lips can't do and then also the liners of the ColourPops can't do so I just feel like I can finish this easily it's very creamy that you tend to sharpen a lot I don't know but I experience sharpening every now and then I don't know if I'm just heavy-handed but every time I use this I have to sharpen for another application ease of application another star and fourth, we have longevity. If you are not going to do any activity that will involve your lips, this is not going to budge, this is kiss proof, see no transfer. But again, as with other matte liquid lipsticks, any presence of oil in your food, this will move. So I vividly remember that the first time I wore this in the shade Coco K, that's the lighter pink shade, I only ate french fries but it moved. And what I meant with moving is that the inner part of the lips faded. And I also remember that as the day goes by, it will definitely feel drier. But it's just the same dryness that you will get from the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lips. Feeling on the lips, it's slightly more lightweight than the ColourPop ones but not significantly as in not really noticeable. Longevity guys, I don't really know because it sits under the matte liquid lipstick so I don't have any means to know. Guys, I'm only going to give it half a point since it will still budge if you eat oily foods. And lastly, we have value for money. I think that's the big difference between this Kylie lip kit and then the ColourPop ones. So this Kylie lip kit retails for $29 as I have said earlier for a matte liquid lipstick and then a regular creamy pencil. If you're going to get the same bundle from ColourPop, that's just $5 for the matte liquid lipstick and then another $5 for the pencil, I think. If I'm not mistaken, it's just also $5. So that's a $10 bundle. So $29 versus $10 for almost the same quality. Mas okay nung konti yung Kylie lip kit, but I mean... And lastly, value for money. If you're paying for the $29 US price tag, that's okay. But please don't go overboard and pay $10,000 as much as $10,000 for a Kylie lip kit. That's half a star for me. The total score is 4 stars over 5. Honestly guys, I'm not convinced about the hype, but I'm just glad because these are quality matte liquid lipstick and lip liners. But at the end of the day guys, this has Kylie brand names on it and we cannot question branding. My final thoughts on these products, so these are nice quality products, they work well on me, but if you are on a budget, I would highly suggest that you get the ColourPop ones. They're just almost, almost the same. But if you want to experience Kylie and you have the means or the money to buy, go ahead and buy. I just have to mention guys that they translate slightly darker on my lips since I have pigmented lips but I think somehow they just really transfer dark. Also if you're going to compare the swatch on the cardboard packaging is lighter than what it looks in the tube. Before I end this video guys just one tip if you're going to shop on their website you will get announcements pag kami mga bagong stock through Kylie's Instagram and the swatches on the website it looks lighter than how they look in real life. So that's just some ninja shopping tips if you really want to stock kyliecosmetics.com and get your Kylie lip kits for only $29. So that is it guys for my Kylie lip kit review. I hope this helps and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye!